Now we are going to do Kurmasna. Huh? And I will, uh, we, we have already done the preparation. So we start with the legs, uh, uh, separate like uh, in such a way that the knees are wide like your armpits. Uh, then bend the legs. And one of the actions that we are going to do when you, after when you are in Kurmas is to turn the legs in at the same time that you stretch. Because uh, this turning the legs in is what is creating the compactness of the legs on the chest. And this is the same action that we did when we did before in um, pressing the inner heels when we were doing malasana, that was creating this company. It's the same thing, it's the rotation of the thigh seam. So with the legs bent, you reach forward, reach forward and see that you put as much as possible the knees on top of the shoulder, then you spread the arms on the side and then you see this work of turning the legs in, stretch the legs forward and spread the ribs and then come up. Okay? Now we do it, don't fart. Uh, don't fart. So, legs separate. Legs separate, you come a little bit more back. Okay, separate the legs. You can separate the legs more. It's a, uh, also, you can separate the legs a little bit more. Yes. Then you bend the legs. You need the space to go in with the chest. Eh? Okay, and then go under. First one arm. First the other one. Okay, then stretch your arms sideways. Okay, we try to put the knees, feet closer, stretch your arms sideways, and then turn in the thigh seam, stretch the legs. Turn in the thigh seam, stretch the legs. And turn. Okay, come up. I want to show one thing. For you two, you did not watch. So you push, and you cannot just put the legs. You have to use your hands against the thighs in order to reach a little bit more. And then, you see where are my feet? If you start with the feet here, then you finish in Upa Vista Konas. Try to have the feet closer than the knees since the beginning. It helps to have the legs closer. So you help. You, you use the hands. You see now my hands are, my feet are closer than the knees. Then turn the legs and see that you maintain as much as possible the feet closer to each other. Okay, let's do it again. You can go a little bit back and forth so you don't, uh, you have the room for the arms. Okay, bend the legs. Your feet are too far apart, a little bit closer. It, it will help. Then bend the legs. Okay, now go in. Go in, use the hands. Go in. Stretch your arms sideways. And then turn in the legs in. Stretch the legs. Turn in the legs in, stretch the legs. <laughs> feet closer and turning in. Okay, feet closer and turning in. Now spread the ribs. Spread the ribs. It's important this action of stretching, spreading the ribs. And then come up. Want to show another thing. When you put the hands, Okay, use, use. Don't put the hands back. Put the hands a little bit more forward. So you see where my hands press on the near the knee, on the side of the calf, and not on the side of the thigh. A little bit forward. Then go here, spread the ribs, and extend. Because if the arms are pressing here, 
is less painful on the knee. If you're pressing here, it's very hard to use to stretch your legs. Here it's easier. But it's very important that at the same time you do the action of spreading the chest because the legs are very powerful and then can squeeze too much the ribs. So at the same time that the legs do this work, we need to resist with the chest from inside out. Okay? So bend the legs, go in, stretch your arms sideways. Okay, now before, wait, before you stretch your legs, go forward with the hands, go closer with your feet, go closer with the feet, closer with the feet, forward with the hands, forward, forward, okay? And then stretch. Okay, now stretch, spread the ribs, but extend sideways, not only forward, sideways. Extend the inner heels, turn the thighs in, turn the thighs in, and go forward. Turn the thighs in. Go a little bit forward with the hands, hands. Okay, and then stretch again. Then come up. Good work. <laughs> huh? They did well. Don't put the hands back. Put the hands a little bit more forward. So you see where my hands press on the near the knee, on the side of the calf, and not on the side of the thigh. A little bit forward. Then go here, spread the ribs, and extend. The because if the arms are pressing here, it's less painful on the knee. If you're pressing here, it's very hard to use to stretch your legs. Here it's easier.